We live in times when self-driving cars are entering our lives more and more and Tesla is championing that. As you see in this video, a full self-driving Tesla is driving to LAX. This video is shared by Hallmark's catalog. But before we get started, welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news, ring the bell and give us thumbs up if you find this video informative. So I think this is kind of the beginning of game over time for regular driving i think one day maybe the uh, driver's license will become obsolete if the cars are going to reach level five so you're watching a video from holmar's catalog twitter account where he shared his tesla full self-driving beta software meeting lix look how handles how well tesla handles the traffic and the drive to the los angeles lix airport while you're watching and we're going to moving uh, softly and kind of toward full self-driving i have a question is level five full self-driving ever going to happen this question is answered by jeremy johnson who is torque news tesla reporter jeremy says level five full self-driving is when a car no longer needs human attention to drive anywhere essentially the car can make decisions about how to drive from one one location to another without any need for human intervention today we're taking a look around actually today we are at around level two or level three i think only honda has level three car in japan and only um, uh, google's uh, baidu's i'm sorry baidu's apollo has limited level four approved for uh, self-driving robot taxis in limited place in china now how far away are we as a society from level five is it months years or decades what are the implications so jeremy johnson has an interesting uh, take on this he said well let's take a look at where we are today while you're watching this video tesla is moving to a pure vision approach for full self-driving by the way in a little bit later i will explain what other car companies are using what other technologies they are using for full self-driving other companies like Waymo rely on radar and lidar uh, to or actually lidar to do uh, full self-driving nobody has reached level five autonomy yet and i'd go even further to say that level four is debatable because like i said uh, baidu apollo robot taxis are approved for level four only in limited use in a certain location in beijing in china tesla has giant giga presses in multiple uh gigafactories that will make more and more cards to gather data for its neural net something that tesla today with its full self-driving is at level four autonomy i wouldn't go that far yet but i have seen cases where a tesla driver itself from point a to point b without any intervention from the driver which is impressive because i think tesla's full self-driving software has level four autonomy but it's not approved for that yet now Imagine relaxing in a Tesla Model S Plaid while the car just drives you from uh, where, you, where you go where to where you want to go. Remember months ago there was a, a video by, again, Tesla uh, Holmars blog catalog on Twitter, Twitter user Holmars catalog, with zero intervention from, I think he drove from uh, autopilot from San Francisco uh, to LA, uh, LA. Now, Elon Musk said that in that video, Video, Tesla cars have all the necessary equipment for full self-driving. All that is needed now is to improve the software. Now, um, here, uh, to, to, right now, Tesla is using a pure vision system, picking out a car on the right. Uh, uh, you know, you know that Tesla has changed from radar to uh, pure vision, and we're seeing reports like uh, Hallmark's catalog again shared a picture on June first, showing that how the uh, pure vision system is picking out a car on the right whereas the human eye will just see a blur um, now what we think is needed to make it to level five autonomy 
In order to make it to level 5 autonomy, the software is uh, going to have to improve. Tesla software is going to need to improve. Other uh, car company self-driving softwares are, need to, are, are going to need to improve. It's going to have to be better than any human at driving, making decisions and going to where it needs to safely without any need for a human to intervene or without any incident. There is also going to need to be a large neural network with a very high trained data set that can catch 99.999 plus percent of all cases on the road to be safe. It will have to be able to recognize almost every object on the earth, including road signs, vehicles, people, animals, weather, anything, and know how to react to it. The full self-driving cars software will also need to be able to be excellent at adjusting to situations. In a busy street with people walking around, it will need to drive a little more cautious. Where it doesn't quite have full visibility or there is an unprotected left turn, it will need to know to creep forward and gather more information while maintaining safety. It will need to perfectly calculate when it can go for a turn without causing an accident. The different styles of roads will need to be solved as well. It will need to be able to drive on the right side of the road and the left side of the road as cars from its gigafactory in Berlin will do. Now, what about corner and edge cases? If someone creates the software and neural net to handle the 99.999 plus percent of normal cases that will get things very close to level 5 self-driving autonomy, but there will be one thing missing, the ability to handle the corner and edge cases. What should the car do if an accident happens and debris flies everywhere? What should the car do if a tree is falling from up, uh, from up above and it will hit the car if it falls on it and cars are surrounding it on all sides? So it can't stop and it can't go. What does it do then, right? What does the car do when there is a hailstorm or certain cameras or parts of the car aren't uh, functioning or are destroyed? What does the car do if someone stands in front of it and doesn't let it go in a crosswalk? If that someone is being a jerk or doing it for no particular reason and constantly blocks the car, what should the car do? How should the car handle odd police blockades and construction that is confusing even to a human? What should it do? What should the car do if a meteor hits the road in front of it and destroys all the lines and makes everything impossible? How does it handle that? There is just a few examples of strange cases that are very rare, but not impossible. Now, who will get the level 5 autonomy first? On the Tesla website, you can clearly see that the Model S Plat Pictures Gaming is a focus from the middle console to the one in the back seats. And there is emphasis that you can game from any seats. Interesting, why would Tesla promote this so heavily if it wasn't confident that it was close to solving the autonomy, right? So now let me tell you what other companies are using. Most automakers and self-driving uh, uh, sorry, I lost my place on my script. So most automakers and self-driving vehicle companies such as Alphabet, Vimo use three types of sensors, cameras, radar, and LiDAR. Radar systems like cameras are relatively inexpensive. They work in poor weather but lack a resolution to accurately determine the shape of object. LiDAR has high resolution but is vulnerable to weather conditions. You need to use all the different kinds of sensors and then combine them. But now, um, Tesla is just using the pure vision. Tesla's camera centric system is much harder to design, but it is also much cheaper than Vimo's laser, laser blessed LiDAR approach, enabling the electric car maker to scale up and further improve its technology. So friends, although we are at a place where we uh, have not yet reached uh, level five autonomy, but I think the game is over, at least the beginning for our driving. And I think in the next 5 to 15 years, we will see self-driving cars coming 
and changing everything what do you think please let us know in the comment section below if you found this video helpful like it give us thumbs up please and subscribe to our channel this is armin harian from torquenews.com have a great day god bless you everyone see you soon